So, you want to know how to collect all of the infinity stones? Wait, you're not Thanos. My fault, player? Hey guys, I'm about to spike. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to vectorize any image uh, that you want to vectorize, which basically, if you don't know what that means, it, uh, images are like raster quality, which means basically they're really blurry when you try to make them bigger, and if you try to make them uh, super, super huge, and they'll just get really blurry. But a vector... A vector you can scale to any size and it'll still be completely fully clear crisp edges and it's beautiful and it's great so we're going to take a look at how to make a regular image that will get blurry when you scale it and make it in an, a vector so you can scale it to any size that you want so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click and drag our image into uh inkscape here which is the program we're using i'm gonna hit okay on this little pop-up box that comes in this is the twitter logo obviously now you can see when I zoom in here, you can see how that gets blurry, right? You see that blurry edge? Ugh, gross. Raster graphic quality. But when you zoom out, it looks perfectly clear. But when you zoom in, it looks like that. That's, ah, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate, really. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab our tool here, which is going to be the Bezier Curves and Lines tool. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click in uh, all of these edges. And we're just going to create some lines here. So I'm just not going to worry about curving them i'm not going to worry about making them like roundish roundish or like whatever we're just going to make sure that all of these lines are here so every single time there's a point we're going to click on the point right there i'm going to go down here all the way down here click a point in and then down here we're going to click a point on every single one of these um edges here that's what we're going to do so then we're going to go ahead and, and connect this back up by clicking right there and i can see we have a black solid line now what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, edit pass by nodes tool, which is basically the tool we use to curve these lines. So let's go ahead and grab all of these pieces and kind of just push them where we want. Now we're going to use a um, uh, couple, couple, couple little, little techniques here just to smooth these out. Put it like around there. Grab this piece, pull it down. Grab this piece, pull it down. This piece, pull it down. You know, this piece, pull it down. Uh, grab this piece, pull it way down. As you can see, just grabbing the different points to try and line it up as best as we possibly can. Um, and then all of this uh, over here as well. Um, but you can see how this is actually super, super easy to do. You can literally do this with no knowledge of Inkscape or vector graphics or vector art or anything. It's really, really fun to do, actually, and really easy to do. Um, and it takes like zero zero uh time to do but like i said obviously this is a more simple logo so obviously it's going to be a lot easier to do but as you can see once we're done with that i'm gonna go ahead and go back to the select tool grab this image hit delete so you don't need that anymore um but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab actually um, we're gonna not delete we're gonna move it over <laughs> my fault move it over like there you can see we now have the twitter logo but it's just an outline so to fix that we're gonna go to the right hand side and go to fill and stroke if you don't have fill and stroke over in the right hand side you have to go up to um uh, da -da 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 -da. where is it at hmm? question mark uh, question mark it's one of these right here um you can see if it, if i didn't have it over here it'd be in be in this um uh, one of these drop downs you can see uh they have a lot of different um docs that are over here so we have uh object to path and all these all these different things now what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to look out for um align dist distribute um and arrange and a couple of these other ones obviously you can see here an object we have fill and stroke there it is right there if I fill and stroke you can see um that's what we're going to be using right now so let's go ahead and go to fill and make sure this is set to solid um which is flat color which is obviously going to give us the color that we need now to get rid of the outline because we don't want the outline i'm gonna go to stroke paint and then hit this little x and it'll get rid of the outline but you can see when we add a color let's eye drop the um the twitter bird you can see when we add that to the fill you can see they have the outline so let's go back to stroke paint and turn the outline off and as you can see there we go it got rid of it now there we go so We've literally just vector vectorized the Twitter logo. And like I said, what that means is that now when we zoom in on this, um, this is the raster original quality image. You can see when we zoom in, looking gross, looking nasty. But when we zoom in on this, you can see that it is just beautiful and crisp all the way around every single edge. So hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Um, but until then, bye-bye.